The time has come to prepare for the fall garden. More specifically, I'll be making room in the garden for the fall crops. Thank you for joining me today. I am so glad you are here. This kale bed has been very productive for us and we have been harvesting from this bed since May. The plan today is to clear out this bed and get it ready to transplant cabbage seedlings that I started a few weeks ago. I'm first going to harvest all I can and then I will be able to see what plants need to go and what plants will stay. This process involves killing some plants. And to be honest with you, I'm having a hard time with that. Most of these plants are still producing and will probably continue to do so until the winter. But they will no longer be at their best. So I can confidently say that I will be letting go of these good plants to make room for better ones. These dinosaur kale plants are just not looking their best and I really should just let them go. A while ago I sowed some kale seeds here and they sprouted. They grew a little bit but every time after I pick some of these leaves they get big again and these little ones just did not have the chance to grow. I believe they just have too much shade. I don't know because it's been a while. They should be bigger than this. So that's one of the things that happen when we don't make room for growth. The new growth suffers. So even though it's hard for me, even though I may, I may not want to remove some of these plants I am going to do it because I know it's good it's good for my garden it's good for my new growth it's going to give me some fresh plants I harvested as much as I could out of all of these plants and now I need to decide what's going what's staying if anything and decide how I'm going to make room for my next crops Got a lot of weeding to do as well So this is the end result of our bed. I decided to keep three kale plants, one in the corner there and then these two. And that still leaves me plenty of space to put some cabbages in between them. And I'm just going to have to monitor and see if they're casting too much shade on the other new plants, then I'm going to have to remove them. Or I probably just need to stay on top of um, harvesting. There were some cabbage plants already planted in the back of the bed and I'm going to leave those as well.
so the first thing I need to do here is plan what I want to do. And I have these Napa cabbage plants that need to be transplanted today. So I want to see what that's gonna, if that's gonna work out. I planted these in the spring and they bolted very quickly. So I'm hoping that I will have better luck in the fall. And so I'm going to put a few of these in this bed. Maybe here. Then I also have these cabbage plants or seedlings that did really well for me in the spring. So I'm gonna have those there. I hope this is enough space between the plants. This is about the same spacing that I used for my cabbages in the spring. And they were, they grew close to each other, but they did great. So I think this will be good also. But because I haven't had success with Napa cabbage, I don't really know how big they get, but I hope, I'm hoping this is good enough. Sometimes it takes courage to let a good thing go, to make room for better. Let me know in the comments, how are you preparing for the fall garden? <laughs> 